my goodness, it is so cold in this warehouse. What is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to vlog. We gotta make this intro really, really fast because obviously per usual, we're running very, very late. So the Aventor Roadster and that Liberty Walk wide body kit, I ordered the kit about four weeks ago. Production time is around six weeks. So it should be done, ready to ship from Tokyo on the 10th of December. But obviously from Tokyo to Salt Lake City, it's gonna take what? One week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Also the white wheels, I don't know what it is about white wheels, boys. They just hit the soul on like a different level. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I just realized I did an awful job trying to explain what I was trying to explain because the white wheels hit the soul. Anyways, best case scenario, Liberty Walk Wide Body Kit should arrive January of 2021. Yeah, 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 you guys know the drill, sport mode, and go! go. In other news, my new exhaust should be here this week. Sport mode just brings out the worst in you guys. We gotta put it in normal granny mode, we're good. We're just chilling. So we're gonna go meet up with a bunch of friends, a bunch of supercars, we're gonna have a good time. We have a properly cool lineup today, the Huracan on the 720M. Sir Mikey, how you been, bud? Good. Thanks for ruining my eardrums already. <laughs> Mikey's GT3 RS legit is giving me a migraine. I should do it. 720S in motion. It just hits the soul differently. I'm having a very emotional day. White wheels and now a 720S. Look at that house right there. Like what more could you ask for? That is so sick. No, the battery plates are back. Zero, zero gas, really bro. I probably got a little over triggered right there with the zero, zero gas, but it's a, yeah. I mean, it's not it's not a wrong plate, but, or maybe it's because I get eight miles to the gallon doing this constantly. Out of nowhere, we have the Lotus of War 400. I haven't seen one of those in forever. There was somebody in the back, do you see that? Seeing Mikey's GT3 RS with the purple Veyron, I don't know guys, I think, I can't decide. I think the pink might be the move. So that pink is KPMF Momentum Pink. What do you guys think? Do we go teal, do we go, I know we're going back and forth. The white body kit doesn't arrive for a while, but I don't know, I think pink might be it. We have some very, very exciting news to talk about in today's video. Quite possibly the most exciting news of the entire calendar year. The bid for my dream home finally came back. It's a little bit more expensive than we were hoping, but we're gonna talk about that. But first, a quick word from today's video sponsor. And on that beautiful bombshell, I am excited to, an okay, wow. That was way too close to the Bugatti. I'm excited to announce that today's video has been sponsored by Cove and their Commuter 2.0 portable Bluetooth speaker. Guys, the sound quality on this speaker is absolutely unreal. And Cove and I are offering guys the chance to pick up one of these for 67% off. The battery life is seven hours. The durability is crazy. And did I mention the sound quality? I'm pretty sure I did. I've connected the Cope portable speaker to my cell phone via Bluetooth. We're gonna play my outro song volume all the way up, but check it out. It's a two in one. It's like having a left and a right speaker, the ultimate surround sound feel. Also, the sound quality is amazing. Sound quality is the single hardest thing to capture on camera, but I'm telling you boys, it sounds amazing as it reverberates off the W16. I wish every single one of you guys was here to actually listen to this speaker in person because the camera audio is only so good, but take my word for it, the sound quality is incredible. The Bluetooth range is 30 feet, 30 feet. It has a built-in microphone and it is water resistant. And for a limited time, only 67% off. It's like a two for one speaker that's then an additional 67% off. Also massive shout out to Vixen. So this has been my outro song for like the past four or five years. Still love the song and it sounds incredible on the Co portable speaker, 67% off, link below. I know you guys saw the title and the thumbnail to today's video. I have two main goals for the year 2021. I wanna get my pilot's license and I wanna finally own my own house. You guys are never ever gonna guess. I actually have an update on my dream house build. So back in April 2020, I bought that piece of land, 1.7 acres. This past summer, the design was finalized, but this whole time, I've been kinda of sort of in the dark wondering, can I even afford to build what I've designed? Because I have all these crazy ideas in my mind. I put them on paper, my architect designs it. Like the basement pool that has the shark tank with the tunnel to the basketball court. I'm just kidding, I didn't do any of that. All these cool ideas that I put on the design, I've always wondered like, What's the price gonna be behind that? I finally got one bid back. We're waiting for a second bid. I wanna compare general contractor to general contractor, make sure that I'm getting the right price. But the short answer to that question, can I afford my dream house? The answer is yes, although 
it's gonna be a bit of a stretch. I know most of you guys have already seen my dream house, but I just wanna kinda refresh your mind. So we're gonna put an overlay right here. We're gonna do a short little walk around. Obviously it's centered around the garage here on the right side of the screen. That's an eight car garage. There's a sky bridge that connects it to the main house. Yeah, 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 nobody really cares about that. We've made a slight design change that I haven't told you guys about, and that is the bat cave we're gonna be building. So the big garage, the eight car garage, we're actually gonna be building a basement garage directly underneath it that has a car elevator that drops cars from the main floor down to the back cave. I'm really excited about that as you could imagine. That's gonna double the square footage of the garage. So we're gonna go from an eight car garage to a 16 car garage, but we have the other two car garages. So a total of roughly 20 cars with no lifts. The only reason I'm building this house is for the garage space, but because of future resale someday, I have to add the actual house to it, like the kitchen and the bedrooms and yeah, 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 all that nonsense. That's because I have to do it for resale when in actuality, I just want the garage, but I, I don't have a choice. Now here she is, the all important bit. Now bear in mind, I am not gonna be reading every single one of these line items because you guys would die of boredom and I would die of exhaustion. So the city permit, $24,000, the excavation, $41,000, foundation, $66,000, but the big ticket item for $250,000, that's the price of an Aventador, is the frame, the labor and the material. What's crazy is that this time last year, given the price of timber last year, this would have been $170,000. But because of the pandemic, all the prices of raw materials are just like through the roof. The supply and demand chain is just out of whack. And so the longer I wait to build this house, prices should start to drop and it's to my benefit but it also means I have to wait to move into the house. So I don't really know what to do, but like $50,000 for cabinets, obviously that number might be closer to 40,000. Countertops, if I wanna go crazy and do like purple granite countertops, that number could be like 30,000. Obviously that's a joke, that was a joke. We are not gonna be doing any purple accents whatsoever. We're not painting the house purple. We're not gonna have purple walls. We're not gonna have purple countertops. There might be a purple Ferrari on the wall, but that would be like, wait, what? This is what you care about. So right off the bat, uh, $1,498,000 grand total. That includes a $175,000 allowance for the back cave, which is the additional garage underneath this garage. So yes, $1,498,233.29. That's what it's gonna cost, boys. This really takes me back to the old days. We have the Amulet Red 2002 Audi TT. That is like an exact spec. That's exactly the same, except for the wheels are slightly different. That's not my old car, but I would love to buy my old one someday. I don't know how to really say this, and I really don't want to ruin the surprise, but I just bought a car. Now, I'm not gonna actually take delivery of the car until Monday. Today is Saturday, but this video can't go live until Monday because of Burlacker's White Wheels tomorrow. But yes, I bought a car, and it's a JDM. But it's, it's kind of a JDM, but it's kind of sort of not. But it is, but it definitely is, but it's not. I have a very surprised VIP appearance. Tessa, where have you been? <laughs> you've been hustling, you've been working. I've been working, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> that 40 hour grind. Also my battery is flashing red, so today's video might be over or I might have another one in my backpack. Please be one. I have another battery, but I don't know if this one is charged. <laughs> Wish me luck in the comments below. You might not have time though because the video might be over before you can type it anyway. We're good. We're definitely good. We got 100%. You see, never doubt, never ever doubt. So it's like 50 degrees in December. It's not December, it's like November, but we're gonna take the top off. Out of nowhere, are you kidding me? That green is like killer. What? What? I need a green lamp on. I really do. I know I always say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I talk a lot. That is so crazy beautiful. It's so crazy to take the day of that place where we are now. Wow. Who are you? And what are you thinking? Like, it's 32 degrees Fahrenheit. What is, what is he doing? I mean, respect. I respect the hustle. That's the kind of hustle I should be having, honestly.
have a brief little story time to tell you guys. About five and a half years ago, I met Clayton. A couple weeks later, I bought my 2006 Lamborghini Gallardo. He bought his Porsche Cayman. We actually came to this exact spot, and here we are five years later, and Clayton has a Lambo, a Gallardo, just like mine. How sick is that? So Clayton's saying we have to have a spin class. He's saying there was a parking lot down there that was paved with snow. I think it was mud with snow, as much Good as I would man. love a mud. Are you sure? I'm sure. We'll go check, we're gonna go check. We're gonna get you a spin class. If we can get you a spin class, we will, but if we can't, we won't, and then we will in the future, yeah. I don't know why Clayton just took his shoe off and he's talking to it, but. It's my microphone. It's kind of sort of why he's endearing, right? <laughs> I, don't, I mean, it's the hair too. Fine, I'll like, put it back on my feet. Okay, okay. <laughs> he's always right, and he's smug about it also. <laughs> oh, it's good to have him back. Okay, so we're on summer tires. And that was, okay, I can smell a lot of clutch. Um, Take two. Oh! <laughs> This is a bad idea. Oh no, your lamp was like right there. We're good. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's actually kind of sort of refreshing. It's early in the season. I got a lot of work to do, but practice makes perfect, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I didn't look good. I've never actually been to Australia, but if there's steakhouses, any representation, okay, I realize I just triggered all of Australia. Well, welcome to Outback Steakhouse. Anyways, sorry, that was, anyway. My sincerest apologies. We're gonna go eat, and we're gonna, we're gonna leave you guys in the event store. But look at all the snow. We did well. Winter shenanigans coming very, very soon. I said shenanigans weird, but you know what I mean. Alrighty folks, I think that pretty much does it for today's video, but what do you guys think about the dream house build? $1.498 million, probably a year plus in the making, or do I just go out and buy a house? The only problem is the 20 car garage is pretty much impossible to find. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but as always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you didn't like squad, be sure to smash that like button, but just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.